You're watching Telecom TV for Mobile World Congress 2019 in Barcelona. I'm joined now by Des O'Connor, Business Development Manager at Cisco. Des, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. Um, I want to talk about the 5G Rural First project in the UK. How does this project fit within the UK's 5G testbed initiative? Yeah, so um, the government issued six competitions and um, we won one of them. We called it 5G Rural First. Um, our particular challenge is try and figure out how to make um, connectivity work in rural communities. So figure out the economics around it. Typically every generation of mobile technology fails to actually achieve the challenge of getting rural connectivity. So that's what our project's all about. What's the problem that the, pro the project is trying to address? Because I understand all these test beds are looking to um, advance the use cases and the possibilities of, of 5G, but specifically, I guess the clue's in the name, Rural First, but what is it specifically you're, you're, you're looking to address? Well, we'd like to see decent high quality coverage in, in all rural areas. There's still a large percentage of the United Kingdom that doesn't have coverage. We call them not spots. And we want to build a, a bunch of infrastructure test beds and trials which prove out how to resolve issues around not spots, but also build what I call the business layer cake to kind of um, put together all of the kind of revenue generating possibilities um, that can add an increment to the use case to make a service provider justify putting macro radios in rural areas or even small cells. I mean, so often with new generations of, of cellular, you always start in the cities, you always start in densely populated areas. You explained you know, the importance of, of connectivity uh, to areas that don't have it and, and not spots, but you know, it, it's also enabling business, isn't it? Absolutely, yes. It's, um, and you know, there's a digital divide here that um, has not been resolved yet. There's a digital divide for people um, in rural communities, and there's actually a digital divide growing for actually the Internet of Things, the industrial agrotech technology, that actually can't be connected and therefore um, you know, it, we're not getting the, the GDP possibilities um, from these regions at the moment. And what is it about 5G that can help hopefully overcome these, these rural issues? So there's a whole bunch of things that are changing in the 5G era from software defined networks, from low cost radio, from spectrum management changes and spectrum auctions going out in very different modes. Um, so you add all of them things together and we think this is the year actually that can actually really make a difference. So what are the use cases that you're, you're testing out at the moment? What, what are some of the, the applications that, we, that we're seeing? So we've got nearly 30 partners in this project. We have like 10 different radio products. We have at least 15 different vertical use cases. We have tractor drone combinations from companies like Precision Decisions. We have Affy Milk doing collars on cows where we we, look, we reduce the cost of uh, cattle and dairy herd farming. Um, we have augmented reality tourism. We've pretty much looked everywhere, high and low, for all of them different types of use cases that can make an economic difference. So are you running these as sort of separate mini projects within an overarching project, or, or are they interconnected? Absolutely, each one, of them, each one of them companies will report to the government their own findings. We work together, so we link technologists like Cisco who build radios and 5G radios and our radio partners, we link them together with these vertical industries who wouldn't normally know anything about connectivity perhaps and we work together to figure out what would work to build the coverage that they need for their use case. Let's move on to Cisco's and Cisco's involvement. Um, what are you providing specifically to, to the project and, and, and what is the nature of the, of the technology that's, that's underpinning it all? So first and foremost, we're the lead project partner, so we provide a lot of project management. With regard to actual technology, we have like the 5G cloud core, the Cisco Ultra Packet core. We have our entire transport portfolio, the X-Hall functionality. We have our automation and security product portfolio. We have Wi-Fi, LoRaWAN. We've got quite a large payload actually um, deployed in this project. And of course, projects like, like this only have real value if the results move forward and, and and they evolve and eventually become commercial. So what, what, what time frames are we looking at and then what follows uh, the Rural First project? So the project's nearly finished actually. The government uh, awarded it nearly a year ago. We've just about finished building out all of the infrastructure and started doing the use case testing. We're hoping to win a bit of an extension from the government for an extra six months so that we can actually spend more time doing the use case tests. Well Des, thanks very much for joining us on Telecom TV. No problem, thank you.